what's up? Uh, this is David at uh, Urban Analog, and I am in the Squarespace uh, blog section of this website. I'm just going to talk a little bit about the features and functionality of creating your own blog. Um, so if you're not used to Squarespace, it's pretty uh, easy and intuitive to use. If you get to, uh, you can drive through a page. Right now we're using this page as an example. And I can go to the blog section, and if I don't see this little uh, thing up here, I just simply hit the escape key. This will pop down like this, and you can see I can edit everything. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is just to help people out with some um, uh, building out their websites. It's important to know that uh, uh, content is extremely important, especially for our search engine optimization. And uh, so blogs are a really excellent way to get information about your company out there. So your website should be focused on what it is you do, and it has a lot more specifics. It's a lot more shortened to the point. Consider it like an elevator pitch with some options to kind of expand upon, you know, your services or your product or what you do. However, the blog section, you can talk about all different uh, reasons or ways or or ideas of you know how to use your service, how to engage you, you know what's important. You can talk about whatever you know sector your industry is in. There's lots of different things that you can do. So your blog allows you to reach a much wider audience. Um, here's some key things to remember in blogs: um, infographics are huge and videos are huge. So in this instance, I am creating a small video. Uh, that I will be using in my blog, and you'll be able to see that as well. And this is part of that video. So um, I am on the blog page, and there are, you can see there are no blogs here yet, but you see this button right here that says Manage Posts. <clears throat> so I click on that, and it comes over to this section right here. So I can see all the posts that are available. This is a brand new site. It's in development. It has not been finished yet, so all you're going to see is um just it's empty so but if we had blogs here you would see all the blogs listed here you can sort it by drafts so it would only show you know drafts that you haven't finished um blogs that are set for review and blogs that are scheduled to be released now to create a new blog it's fairly simple uh you just simply click on this little plus sign here and this comes up this is going to be your heading this is going to be the h1 post so you want to make sure that this is uh has keywords in it that are uh, central to the topic of your blog and here's where you would write so this is where we talk about the blog um, if I want to add photos I can click on this little image click here and add an image the important thing to remember about adding photos is let's let's add a photo so I can show you I'm just gonna add this how about this this little blue flower here so whoops Try that one more time. Maybe I didn't click on it. Here's our blue flower up. Oh. Okay, so it's doing it. Oh, it was just a really, really big file. It was taking a second, of course. <clears throat> so one of the things that's really important for search engine optimization is that we have alt text. Come on here, apply. That's right. We have alt text. Um, alt text should go right here. Blue. Flower. So the alt text actually becomes um, kind of the uh, the subtext of the image. But um, actually, let's do this: blue rose on blue. Oops. Background. Okay. So I don't actually want this to be seen by anybody. So I'm going to click on Edit. I'm going to go to Design, and I'm going to click where it says Caption and Do Not Display Caption. Apply. So. Now, it is important you do this for every single image um, on your blogs and elsewhere if you're using Squarespace. So now you see that image doesn't show there, but the picture is still here. That text that I just put there becomes the alt text. And alt text is text that helps um, screen readers identify what the picture is about. This is very important for you know people that are blind or visually impaired. Uh, it can help them um, understand what's going on on the page. That's very important. Um, so anyway, I can actually come down here every time I get a little teardrop, I can add something else. I can put some more information here. Um, I can decide that this is going to be, um, you know, a 0.2 header, a 0.3 header. Um, code just means it's going to make it 
it's going to uh, look like a code. It's going to be a little different. But um, I don't want to do an H1 heading. That's what this is going to be. So um, the other thing I would do is uh, say story about blue roses in the Northwest. OK, so maybe this is my headline here. Um, I would take this. I just controlled, copy it. I come over to options. I'm going to make that the URL. So by dropping that in right here, it becomes a slug. If I don't put something there, it'll default. It is better to control this because it gives you more SEO power. Here would be a uh, um, port, like some basic information. This is a preview of text that talks about the story so that you are interested enough to read it. Okay, um, the source URL, so if this is, if you're taking this from somewhere else, you can put a URL in here and when they click on it, this will drive through there instead of to the story. But um, this is an image. This is, uh, I can use that same blue rose image. This is what the preview will be. If you don't put anything here, there won't be a preview when the blog shows up. Um, I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But I want to keep this straight uh, pretty fast, so we're going to go through this kind of uh, quick. I don't want to bore you too much. I can come into the image editor, and this is a really big uh, photo. So if I look at, um, let's just make it square. I want it to be a square photo. Um, and if we go resize, I probably want that more round. There you go. That's about half the size. That's good. Um, that's still bigger than it really needs to be. And then I hit save, right? So this is going to be the preview. You'll see it adjust up here. Now, it's important to know, I put this image right here. If I didn't put anything here, there would be no photo in the story. So it's important to have uh, images in uh, your story. Um, let's talk about down here. So tags, I can say um, um, blue roses. I can say, uh, you know, I can have certain ways where people could find uh, this story if I've got a lot of blogs here. Categories should be um, create, or let's see, let's call it floral. Maybe that's my category and that's where it's all hit. Now I hit the enter and it creates that category. Now keep in mind, if you put a new category here, let's just put choose for instance. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave that a small s and I'll show you how to fix that later. So a small s, um, if you put a category here, you have to hit enter. You can't just select it um, and then go somewhere else. You have to kind of hit enter. Um, so see, nothing saved here. So I have to go back here. I've created the category and I have to select it. See, it's a little bit darker there. Okay, so now I can choose to turn the comments on or off. This is an important one because it took me a while to figure this out. It's like, how do you schedule something? And it just says draft here. These don't look like buttons. It's a bit of a UI um, issue. They should at least have some color or maybe some something that indicates that they are selectable. If I click right here, draft, then I can see the options. Now I've done this enough that I know, but I'd be surprised if any, you know, if a lot of people aren't having this problem. So you can set something as needs review. And then it'll show over here in this review queue um, and you can have somebody that comes in and reviews it. So you just write blogs like crazy, pass them to the needs review, and then you have your editor, your copy editor come in and review them um, and make sure that they're good. You can also put scheduled and by default, it'll schedule today. You have to click it again. Oops, sorry, click the, uh, the link of the date you want it scheduled and schedule the post for when you want it to actually be delivered and um, right I guess you can play with the slider too that just seems like a little bit overkill I don't know it's just easier to select the date um, or you can hit published now um, if you click this then when you save it it will publish right so I have it scheduled um, if I put it back to draft notice it changed now I have a save and publish so now I can save this and you will see that it does not show here. Sometimes you have to read. 
I'm going to refresh the page. Sometimes that has to happen. In order for, there you go. So it does not show here, but it does show over here. You can see this is the featured preview, right? So you see a story about blue roses in the Northwest, and you see it's a draft, right? So if I come over here and I click on this, it doesn't matter where I click, right? I'll see edit or delete. I can delete this post or I can edit this post. Um, one of the things I want to show you is also see how it looks. It looks really good right here. So more information. This is what I put. Some text goes here. Here's the big flower. This is kind of what it looks like um, as a blog. Uh, we didn't put much text in there, but that's what it'll look like. And if you actually go to, well, we won't see it in the blog section until we publish it. But so if I click edit here, I get this back. And you see there's more information, some text. There's the heading. This is where we talk about the blog. Actually, I'm going to move this. Actually, this is a good point. See, I, <coughs> excuse me, I grab that text and I drug it down here. And you can see I get this little line. It's a drag and drop. See, it popped right in there. But now it's kind of become part of this because it sees text above, text below, text below um, in the middle. So it just kind of puts all the like-minded text. If I wanted to break that free, I would just put a spacer here, put a spacer here. And now I can just grab this into independently, right? And I can move it back up here. These are important things to know. And then I kill this spacer, yes. And when I kill this spacer, these two pieces of text are gonna to be together in the same area and they're just gonna become one. So when it jumped there, you see now it's one. So I can still grab this text if I put it over here, it'll appear on the side. That black line is an indicator of where it's going to show up. There we go. So anyway, um, so now we come back to this. Now, the only way we're actually ever going to see this um, is it, once it publishes, you'll see all this information. If I click this link, that means that the title will link to the source. So if I have a source URL here, and this is actually a blog somewhere else, I can put a little preview here, click this. And when they click on the title, it'll go to um, the act the blog on someone else's site. But I can do a preview here, so it, it generates traffic. Um, if it's location specific, um, uh, this is my business, and then I can put in the address. You'll see it all uh, show here. Um, and then if I have social accounts connected, I will have you'll see all the social accounts that I have connected here. And I will be able to flip the little switch. It has an on off switch or toggle next to each one. And if I turn it to on, then when I publish it, it'll also post to my Facebook, to my Twitter, to my LinkedIn. So that's an excellent, excellent tool. But anyway, uh, without going uh, too far, I'm going to go ahead and save and publish this. This blog is now live. So if I actually go to my blog page, as you can see, this is the preview, this is the headline, this is the information, the date, read more. Now, here's what's uh, really cool about um, um, Squarespace. I can actually drop in some pretty cool functionality here. So what I did is I put edit, and this is a little piece above the blog section. And right here, I'm going to put in um, a tag cloud. And I'm going to set it to my blog, and I'm going to hit apply. So remember all those tags I created? They're right here. So if I had lots of um, blogs, you could see all the tags here. You could see the categories, whatever, and I can click on it, and it'll filter the entire blog page just to blue roses or the color blue, right? Because these are both. So if I hit save, you'll see when I come over, I get one color blue, as you can see, is another one. So if I hit blue, it refreshed the page. Now it's only showing you, since we only have one blog, but it's only showing you the um, stories that are related to this tag. So that's a really powerful and cool tool. Another thing you can do, I believe here, is we can drop in, um, this is another really cool service they have. Uh, you can drop in, where is it here? Do, 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 we're looking for search people, except for you can't really help me, I'm blind. So <laughs> if you can't help, there it is. You can't really just tell me, you're all probably yelling at me. It's right there, you idiot. Anyway, I'm gonna hit search a specific page and select blog. Now, when I save, I could say search blue, and 
Hold on. Sometimes, see, there you go. It pulls that story up. I did too much. Let's try it one more time. Come on, refresh the page. There we go. So here's what it would look like if I were on the blog page, which I am. I'm sorry, I'm having a little bit of a hiccup here. Okay, so now if I search blue and hit enter, you see there's the story. It comes up right there. Story about blue roses in the Northwest. Blue roses, blue background. There's the, the um, content. There you go. If I click on this, it will take me to the actual story. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, I hope this is helpful. And this is um, just uh, one of the reasons why I think Squarespace is a fairly intuitive, easy to use. And for the right business, Squarespace is an amazing tool to use. Um, hope you enjoy. Thanks. This is David Wall with Urban Analog in Seattle, Washington. We're here to help you with your web.